Hello, Margarita. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. How Hello. are you? I'm very well here, waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> comes Carol as well. Yes. Hello, Carol, how are you? Hi, how are you? Very well, waiting mm -hmm. for the vacation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <right. laughs> Let's see how it goes. And uh, how is the weather where you live? Is It's kind of hot or is it's nice? Mm. Yeah. Is um, it's very hot. Really, it's very hot. Yeah. Yes. What about where you live, uh, Margarita? Uh, I live in Soyapango. Ah, you in Soyapango? So yes. it's hotter. Yes. <laughs> well, I live in San Salvador, but it's kind of <laughs> cold <laughs> right now. But in the afternoon, it was very, very hot. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sometimes that get us sick, right? Because sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold. I don't know what's going on. Yes, that's my weekend. <laughs> I... <laughs> Do you have a voice? Do you have a voice like uh, a person that works for the radio? Something like that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah, it's like, today we're going to listen a sound that is beautiful and it's dedicated for all the English group. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yes. That's because I I hope I can work in as a teacher. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, a kindergarten teacher actually. So you're studying for that one right now? I finished my studies. Okay, at the university. Yes. Good. Good. I finished this uh, the last October, and I get my my grades in in February. Oh, so year. very soon. Congratulations yes. there. Thanks. Yeah, we need to celebrate that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hello, Merlin. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm welcome. Fine. You? I'm very well. Thank you for asking and welcome to the class. Okay, thank you, teacher. Perfect. Hello, Joanna. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Very well. Here, uh, waiting for everybody to come to the class, the last class. Yeah, the last one, right? Yeah, today is the last one. It's the end of the journey. But of course, you're going to continue. We were talking about the weather. How is the weather where you live, Marilyn? Um, it's it's cold, teacher. It's hot? Here now, cold. Ah, cold, really? Um, yes, yes I, I live in a high, or oh, I many three, in oh. three, yes, in winter, always, always the water is cold at, at night, on the night, <laughs> and the day is hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. Yes. Very good. Very uh, teacher, good. Where do you live, teacher? I live in Santa Ana. Oh, yeah. I live in San Jose Villanueva and roof the Puerto de la Libertad. Ah, okay. um, before, before the Puerto de la Libertad. Oh, interesting. But you say yes. it's interesting because you live near, let's say near the beach, but you say that because of the forest, it's kind of cold, oh, right? Yes. It's near I the ferry ferry minute <laughs> the beach. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna go to the beach on this week, I guess. Oh um I don't like the beach teacher. Really? You prefer <laughs> the market? Like it, um I prefer to visit the um, volcano um is 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 better <laughs> for okay. me. Very yes. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we're going to start the class. Um, we're going to continue the little review that we were checking. Uh, you remember that I was telling you that if you get to manage 
simple present, present continuous, simple past, present perfect, and future, you have the base of English and you will be able to communicate uh, and comprehend what other people are saying and express opinions or express things. So uh, we're going to continue with our little review that we were checking to that one. So here we go. Okay, so today we're going to review um, the present uh, perfect tense and the simple past tense. So um, remember that the simple, well, the present perfect is the first one here, uh, yeah. Uh, it is used to express unfinished events that started in the past and continue to the present. So for example, I have lived in Paris for five years. I still live in Paris. That's the meaning of that one. For the simple past, we use that to express finished events, okay? My son was sick on Monday. So my son isn't sick right now. So if I say my son has been sick, that means that the action continues. Mm -hmm. The other one, it says it is used to express finished events in someone's life. If the person is still alive, it's a life experience. So he has never traveled by plane. He is alive. On the other hand, we have it is used to express finished events in someone's life if the person is dead. That is, uh, that is important. I mean, imagine that you say he traveled a lot by plane. I mean, another person is going to understand that that person that you're talking about is dead. So that is very important, right? Uh, to use the correct tense. Okay. Then we have uh, another thing. We have um, this to just express finished events that happened in the past and the impact on the event is continuing, still going on. We can reach Paul by phone. Have you seen? And uh, the simple past, it is just to express finished events. That is not result in the present. I'm sorry. Uh, he went to the cinema two hours ago. Now he is at school. And the last part. It is used to um, express and finish time worse. So this week, today, this year, things like that. So we can say, I have eaten lots of plums today. Do you remember where are plums? Plums. No. Mm. Ciruelas. No. Plums oh. are ciruelas. <laughs> okay, so on the other one, uh, we have that we can use that to finish time words. So the time expression that we're going to use is also important in these kind of situations, okay? Uh, do you have any question with this little review? Okay. Let's uh, just practice a little bit. Okay, the first one, C is the verb. How is going to be the sentence? I, I saw, I saw, I saw a great, a great film, film yesterday. yesterday. Very good. That is it. I saw a great film yesterday. Nice. Number two. Have you, have you ever, have you ever buy, bought, bought a cheap laptop? A cheap laptop? Very good. Have you ever bought a cheap uh, laptop? Okay. Good. Number three, how is going to be? Sue has, has the flu last winter. Good, perfect. And uh, number four. Um, a, few a few days a ago, ago, we, we drove to, to his, his uncle. To his uncle. Very good. Number five. 
They they play, play bingo has on play Wednesday bingo. afternoon. Wednesday afternoon. Played. Okay. Uh, played or have played. Played. Played, right? Because on Good. Wednesday afternoon. That happened already. So they played bingo on Wednesday afternoon. Good. Uh, uh, teacher, number, yes. In this case, um, it's, uh, it's as the same when it's uh, Wednesday night, but it's talking about in uh, for that event. Mm, could you please repeat your question? <laughs> Uh, this sentence, mm -hmm. uh, if we are talking about um, the Wednesday night and we say that they played bingo on Wednesday afternoon, is it is correct to interpret that way? Yeah, uh, actually you can do it that way. Probably it's going to be different if you just made the action. So that probably is going to be different and you will be able to use the present perfect. Okay. okay. So number six. He has already taken the bus to get there. Very good. Uh, he has he already has taken, taken the bus to get there. Mm -hmm. Good. Number seven. Last week, my Last rabbit, week, my my rabbit, rabbit ran, away. Run, run away. Ran away. Ran away. Good. Ran, ran away. away. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Uh, we, we, we do, we don't, we have done, we done a lot last Sunday. We done a lot of, a lot last Sunday. We, so we've done. We, uh, we have done. We were. Have I'm sorry. Done. A lot last Sunday. We have mm. done. We have we done. done. Let. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's possible because we have done a lot of last Sunday. It's possible. Probably for me, it would be better. I did. We did a lot because uh -huh. it says last Sunday. We did. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, because but that is something that <coughs> finished already, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and number nine. Has she ever been? Uh, ever been? Been? Good. Been to India? Has she ever been to India? That is good. Has she ever been in India? <coughs> number 10. I... I, I met him last I Monday. Him last Monday. Met him last Monday. Nice. I met him last Monday. Number eleven. Uh, mm, he has some. He wake. Wake up. Wake, wake up. up. Jet. Very good. She hasn't woken up. Woken. Ah, good. Work. Yeah, work. woken up. Very good. Mm -hmm. Number twelve. Uh, I, I, I haven't, haven't met. I haven't met. met. I didn't met him last since Thursday. last met. Thursday. Very good. So that is going to be, I haven't met her since. That is the key, right? Since, since last Thursday. Last that means Thursday. that started last Thursday, but still continues, right? Okay. Okay, number 13. I Bob, Bob slept, slept well, well last, last night. night. Very good. Bob slept well last night. Number 14. I, I got a letter from her two days ago. Very good. I got a letter from her two days ago. And number 15. They already they, arrived in Germany. They already arrived in Germany. They have already 
Arrived. They have already arrived in Germany. They have already arrived. Good, yes. perfect. Nice, nice. So this was just a little practice and now we're going to do a little reading that we have here. Um, this is kind of easy. Let's see how it goes. Everybody, please repeat. I think I have had a very interesting life. I think I, I, think have, I, I have, have, have a very, very interesting, interesting, life. Very interesting life. life. I'm 73 now and I don't work anymore. I'm, I'm 73, 73 now and I don't work, work anymore. Don't work anymore. I was in the army for 51 years. I was, I was in the, the army, army for 51, 51 years. years. I retired when I was 69. I retired I when, I when I was 69. 69. I have been to so many countries that I can't remember all of them. I have I been to so many so countries that I can't remember, remember all, of them. all of them. All of them. I, I've been to Australia six or seven times and to South Africa three times. I've been, I've been to Australia six or seven, seven times, times and to South, South Africa, Africa three, three times. times. I have also seen once to Russia, but I didn't like it at all. Much too cold for me. I have, I have also been once to Russia, Russia but, but I didn't, didn't like it at all. all. Much too cold, much too cold for, me. for me. They say that love is the greatest thing, and I agree. They, they say, say love is a great thing, and I agree. I've been married four times, but never for more than five years. I've been, been married for four times, but never for more than five years. I don't think women really understand me. I don't, I don't think, think women, women really, really understand, understand me. me. Okay. I've never been on television, but I've been on the radio once. I've never, never been, been on, on television, television, but I've been on the radio, radio, radio once. It was a program about life in the military about 20 years ago. It was a program about life in the military about 20 years ago. I met the prime minister on the same day. I met the Prime Minister on the same day. Actually, I've met a lot of famous people, members of the royal family, famous politicians, and also famous cinema and television personalities. Actually, I've met a lot of famous people, some royal family, famous politicians, and also famous cinema and television personalities. I never met the American president, though, which is a pity. I never met the American, American president, though, which is a pity. Because I've traveled a lot, I've seen a lot of wonderful things and have also eaten and drunk some strange foods and drinks. Because, because I travel a lot, I've seen, seen a lot of wonderful things. They have also eaten and drunk some strange food and drinks. And drinks. And drinks. I ate cat and rat in India and drank something called milto on a little island in Italy many years ago. I, I ate cat and rat in India and drank something called a little island in Italy many years ago. Good, perfect. So now, uh, do you have uh, any questions about vocabulary? Um, yeah. Uh-huh. Good evening. Excuse Good evening. me for the evening. Oh, don't worry. Welcome to the class. Okay. Hey, no, questions. no questions, right? It's very easy. No. Okay, so now we are going to read. The first person is going to read uh, is going to read paragraph one and two. The next person is going to read uh, the next paragraph. And the last, well, this next two paragraphs, okay? So it's going to be one and two, three and four. The first person is going to be Margarita. Okay. I think I have had a very interesting life. I'm 33 now and I don't work anymore. I was in the army for 51 years. I, I retired when I was 69. 
I have been to so many countries that I can remember all of them. I've been to Australia six or seven times and to South Africa three times. I have also been once to Russia, but I didn't like it at all. Too much cold for me. The next as well, please. They say that love is the greatest thing, and I agree. I've been married for times, but never, uh, but never for more than five years. I don't think women really understand me. Perfect. Thank you. Next one is going to be he sell up. I never been on television, but I've been on the radio once. It's once a program about life in the military in the military about 20 years ago. I met the prime minister on the same day. Actually, I met a lot of famous people, members of the royal family, famous politicians, and also famous cinema and television personalities. I never met the American president, so which is a pity. The next. Martin, yeah, please. Because I travel a lot, I've seen a lot of wonderful things and have also eaten and drunk some strange food and drinks. I ate cat and rat in India and drank something called Mirto on a little island in Italy many years ago. Perfect, thank you. Next one is going to be Carol. <coughs> I think I have had a very interesting life. I am uh, 730 uh, now um, I don't work anymore. I was in the army for uh, 51 years and retired when, when I was uh, 69 and have been to so, ma so many countries that I can remember all of them. I uh, be to Australia six or seven times and to South America after them, to South Africa three times. I have also be once to Russia, but I didn't like at, uh, it out ma much too cold for me. They say that love in the wasting thing and I agree. I have been married for time, but never for more that than five years. I don't think women really understand me. Perfect, thank you. Next one is going to be Marilyn. Okay. Oh, I never sorry. been on television. I'm sorry, that is it. Okay. Oh, I never been on television, but I've been on the radio once. It was a program about life in the military about 20 years ago. I met the premier minister on the same day. Actually, I met a lot of famous people, members of the royal family, famous politicians, and also famous cinema and television personalities. I never meet the American president George with this pity because I travel a lot. Of, I was seeing a lot of wonderful things and I had also eaten and drunk some strange foods and drinks. I ate cat and rat in India and drank something called Myrtle on a little island in Hillary many years ago. Okay, perfect. Uh, mm -hmm. Next one is going to be Lorena. I think I have a, had a very interesting life. I'm 73 now and I don't work anymore. I was in the army for 51 years. I retired when I was 7, 60, 69. I have been so many countries that I can remember all of them. I've been to Australia six or seven times and to South Africa three times. I have also been once to Russia, but I didn't like it at all. Much too cold for me. They say that love is the greatest 
thing and I got, and I agree. I've been married for, for four times, but never for more than five years. I don't think women really understand me. Perfect, thank you. Next one is going to be Adelie. I've never been on television, but I've been on the radio on once. It was a program about life in the military about 20 years ago. I met the prime minister, minister of the same day. Actually, I met a lot of famous people, members of the royal family, famous politicians, and all famous cinema and television personalities. I've never met the American president, so with his city because I travel a lot. I've seen a lot of wonderful things and have all eaten in drum, some strange foods and drinks. I ate a cat and rat in India and drank something called Mirtu on the little in Iceland and Hillary many years ago. Okay, very good. Thank you. Next one is going to be uh, Joanna. I think I have had a very interesting life. I'm 73 now and I don't work anymore. I was in the army for 51 years. I retired when I was 69. I have been so I have been to so many countries that I can remember all of them. I've been to Australia six or seven times and to South Africa three times. I have also been once to Russia, but I didn't like it at all. Much too cold for me. They say that love is the greatest thing, and I agree. I've been married for four times, but never for more than five years. I don't think women really understand me. Okay, perfect, thank you. Next one is uh, Gerardo. I've never been on television, but I've been on the radio once. <laughs> It was a program about life in the military about 20 years ago. I met the prime minister on the same day. Actually, I met a lot of famous people, members of the royal family, famous politicians, and also famous cinema and television personalities. I've never met the American president, so which is a pity. Because I've traveled a lot. I've seen a lot of wonderful things and I have also eaten and drunk some strange food and drink. I ate cat and rat in India and drank something called Mirto on a little island in Italy many years ago. Okay, perfect. Thank you. <clears throat> Next one is going to be Elvis. <clears throat> I think I have had life. I'm tw 23. I'm, I was in the army for 51 years. I retired when I was 69. I have been I have been to so many countries that I can't remember all of them. I've been to Australia six or seven times. Mm -hmm and to South Africa three times. I have also once to Russia, but I didn't like it at all. Much too cold for me. They said, say, that love is the greatest thing. And I agree. I, I've been married four times, but never for more than five years. I don't think women really are. Okay, perfect, thank you. Next one is going to be Hilda. Okay, teacher. And I've never been on television, but I've been on the radio once. It was a program about life in the, milita the military 
military about 20 years ago. I made the Prime Ministry on the same day. Actually, I've met a lot of famous people, members of the royal family, famous politicians, and also famous cinema and television personality. I never met the American president, so which is a pity because I've tra traveled a lot. I've seen a lot of wonderful things and I have also eaten and drunk some strange food and drinks. I eat cat, cat and rat and Indian and drunk, drunk something called Mirto on a little island in, in Italy many years ago. Very good, thank you. Thank you. I guess everybody has read, right? Yeah, I guess everybody. Very good. Uh, just remember that the pronunciation of uh, island is island, no S. And that is something that I had in some of you. Uh, but the rest was very good. Do you have any questions before we continue? Uh, what is pity, Tisha? Pity is like a shame. It's, it's a shame. It's not good. Ah. Okay. okay. It's, it's an adjective. Yes. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, Any other question? No. No question. Okay. So, um, let's check. Okay. So we're going to continue, but the last part of this class, since this is the last class, we're going to just speak. Maybe I will ask you some questions, but if you want to ask questions to me or to somebody, it's going to be open box. That is the name of this activity. Um, a question that I have for you is, why are you studying English? I would like to know that. Who wants to go first? Me, um, okay. I want to uh, I want to study English because I want to improve my pronunciation, my speaking as well, and I want to get a job, a better job, and grow up in the company and things like that. Uh, but, but also because I I really want to prove myself that I can do it better. So I have been studying English for a lot a long time and I think I I still um, struggling with some pronunciation pronunciation and also with uh, some vocabulary or well the last thing that I told you last time it was um, I have issues with the spelling and things like that so uh, or express myself that's why I want to continue in, uh, studying English very good, that is interesting. I mean, uh, it's very good that you know that you have some things that you need to improve and that you can continue. English is like many other things you need to practice. Uh, and uh, well, even when you speak English very well, you can continue practicing here, right? You can just come and speak and read and learn things that sometimes we don't know. And it's very interesting what you say that, well, you say many reasons, but also you say that you want to prove yourself that you can do it. So maybe that is the most important, I guess. Good, Joanna. Who wants to share? Uh, me. Okay. I want to learn English because I want to get a job. I want to improve my English skills, like listening, speaking, as well as another thing that is really important in English, in a, English language, right? I, but I don't want to um, lim put a limit on myself. I want to know about English, but in general, culture, about everything about, about the language. And then it's a challenge for me because I want to challenge myself to learn a new language and then uh, 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 get new skills for me. And, and then grow up grow up like a like person in a in a successful way right i want to get a really uh, uh, an english a really good english level you know it, it's it's important to say something that 
English, you you will learn English every day. So you cannot get the 100% of the English level because you always are going to learn new things. That's what I, it's the most important thing when you are learning a new language. And that's a challenge for me. And I hope I can get it. Very good, Elvis. Thank you for sharing. And yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I remember that you said that you wanted, and actually you have studied other languages. So it seems that you are really into uh, other cultures. That is very interesting. Mm -hmm. And I guess English, if you learn English, I mean, you can speak English very well right now. And if you learn some other things, probably you are not going to be here in this country a lot of, a lot of time. Maybe you are going to go somewhere if you have the chance, of course. That's good. Who else would like to share? Okay, me. me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, go ahead. No problem, Gisela. No problem. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I study English because I need to improve my English and to practice and dialogue with other person because I work in a foundation that we need to contact the people to the other, other country. And usually the English is the most famous um, language beside the Japanese, but I, I prefer English because it been 30 years ago that I have had um, fluid uh, English fluently but I I forget uh, I forget so I need to to practice because I know that I can remember when I speak English when I am a teenager and my daughter I are um, professional and maybe um, when they marry, I be alone. So when we we stay in another country, I don't have any anyone to translate for me. So we can do it by myself. Yeah. And for my age, I think that when speaking another language, the memory is is most difficult that we lost. So I need to practice. And I need to stimulate the, the teenagers that are abused, sexual abuse, that uh, learn another language um, with the purpose that he can get a job because are some call center in our country and it's a new life for, for them. So, but I think that I must to do the, the example that, that when we propose, propose something, we can, we can get them. If, if I force, if I try to, if we with that with with um, if if we make a mistake, we can change the life. If we are um, sad person, sad person, we we can change too. But we need a new opportunity in the life. And I want to do to this person, but I need to to contact. We we have some people that can that they can help us, but we need to explain in English that I need, um, and I I don't have who translate for for us. So. It's my yearn to recuperar, to, to, how do you say recuperar? I don't remember recuperar. Recover. Um, recover my, my English. Okay. Because uh, in, in, 
1983, I remember that I passed the TOEFL. I studied the um, idioms and another. So I looking for my dictionary. I have a Appleton Cuyas and I have a Webster dictionary. So I, I began to read them and I, I am glad uh, to see this class because uh, all of my my um, my com compañeros I I forget my uh, my, study. Classmates. Uh -huh. my classmates my like, my classmates are very younger and so I. I feel include uh, in, in, in this group. I feel well with them. And he showed me the, 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 the I, he showed, they show me the, la, la, la chispa, the, the, the spark, the, the spark to learn. And he, he gave me the, the, the hope that I can, because I understand when I, when they they speak, I I listen, I I understand all of them, so I I am happy to this. I like to stay in this class, and I hope that the next level, uh, we can join in again. Yeah, that would be fantastic to be together. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's very interesting that you are getting this together with your uh, life purpose, right? So you are working, helping people, but uh, you want to do more, even when you're doing something. And uh, it's very interesting. It's very nice. Thanks. Okay, who was going to be the next? I remember somebody was. Yeah, I... Me, teacher. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. But um, I study English because um, I learned because I, I really is uh, the language English don't like, don't like it. It's very difficult for me because I don't like it, but I need to improve my English because when I travel to USA, it's very uh, necessary uh, desenvolverme. To develop. Develop. Uh, with the, in the aeroport, aeropuerto, um, in different place. Uh, when I eat um, a restaurant, I need to uh, uh, entender, understand, understand my, uh, the menu. But it's difficult for me. But I, I try to uh, learn to English and. In the course, in the the course, the past, mm -hmm. uh, I nothing uh, almost uh, casi no aprendí. I didn't learn that much. I didn't learn much because uh, the courses don't lie very strange. Nothing partic participation. Nothing. Uh, speak in the discourse uh, I like too much you you form the 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 teach is very nice uh, because because um, I can uh, speak but you usted hace que uno hable it's very important because it's necessary when when um, I I am the the process the learn to English. Mm -hmm. Very well. But, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> but only that teacher. Okay. Really, my my my. Is, I need to improve my speak because I feel nervous when <laughs> when um. I need to express my opinion, op opinions or my my participation. It's very I feel nervous. 
I maybe I guess it's for, it's, it's for my I, the English. Uh, I don't like, but but I need to improve my English because it's necessary. And uh, when say uh, Elvis, it's necessary for for life, for for um, the work. It's necessary because in, the, in my work, uh, Fusalmo, mm -hmm. I can the ex, uh, for extranjeros, foreigners, foreigners, and uh, uh, the United States. Mm -hmm. It's necessary to speak to English with them, but very difficult for me. But I try. But, um, <laughs> the important is is continue the, the process. Okay, very well. Yeah, it's, uh, yes. it's what you say because, well, when you go to other country, well, if you don't speak English, I mean, you can go to France. Because, French people, the, because the American people oh, they speak uh, fast. Oh, yeah. It's very yeah. difficult. And especially the, the Asian people. Yeah. The Asian people, uh, the Russian people. Um, very difficult. One time in the place, I I bought the club mm -hmm. and the the woman Asia. I didn't understand because I, 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 I didn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> when pass this case, uh, I speak. I I say I'm sorry. I don't speak uh, English very well. Please speak slow. Uh, it is the for you, the, the, the develop, develop in this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very important. Whenever you go to other country, I mean, I was going to tell you that if you go to France, for example, I mean, they don't like to speak English. They prefer France, French, but people, they speak English. I mean, at the end, if you want to do something, they understand you a little bit and they try to speak with you. Uh, so wherever you go, English is going to be like the most important or the most common language, um, and, and yes. it's important for many things. Good. Yes. In, in many countries, it's yeah. very common English. That but I thank you, teacher, for for all because I expect the uh, the next course you are teacher. <laughs> Well, I hope as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Let's, let's hope for the better. <laughs> Thank you so much, teacher. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Uh, anybody else who would like to share? Me. Okay, Marita. Yeah. Well, one thing uh, that I study English is because to keep improving my pronunciation, my uh, sentence constructions and uh, and the at the first place too is because uh, when I was a child until I was at um, uh, before to start the university I was pretty shy <laughs> I almost speaks in the, um I was uh, like in social and uh, speaks English uh, opens me um, much doors in the world and I speak and um, I speak more <laughs> and uh, uh, with other people with I met new people about that and uh, uh, when I was uh, a teenager, I never thought traveling to USA, but uh, thanks to studying English um, at that age, I was able to travel there, work one a year for a year. And in order to keep improving myself and, uh, and looking for a job, I, I keep studying English and I agree with the classmate and I hope you will be our teacher again. 
I really like the method that you use, making us participate, speaking, and working in the platform, and uh, telling, talking about our experience, and doing, and making some opinions too. Okay. Yeah, it would be better. It would be for me very good if we are together. We don't know. To be honest with you, I never have repeated a group. Um, but I mean, we have time, right? Maybe not the next, but the other one, we are going to be around there. So let's see how it goes. And uh, you are very right. You say something that is very important. English opens doors a lot. I mean, I finished my career that is not English. Uh, but English has given me more than my career. So that is, that is true. Uh, because you can combine that, your knowledge, your experience. But if you are able to express yourself and communicate and uh, tell your ideas, well, everything is very, very good. Fantastic. Yes. Thank you, Margarita. Uh, anybody else who would like to share? Me, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Um, I agree with this. Uh, I would like to improve my English because in my work it is necessary uh, for the new technologies and foreign business. Uh, that uh, that can guarantee to guarantee me to keep a job even if uh, I, I'm a legal age, uh, but it says uh, Margarita, I, I don't know. <laughs> it is important to me because I can also teach to my family and others uh, what I have learned. It is important to, uh, to, to learn to, uh, to control your nervous and loss your fear of speaking. Uh, this class uh, has been a very profitable experience for me because I had English uh, classes uh, 15, uh, 15 years ago. And it, uh, it was always at basic level. This is the first time that I have uh, the intermediate level and I have realized uh, that also uh, I don't have a lot of vocabulary to express me uh, and I understand uh, enough. I, I understand enough and, and I also write it well despite uh, having not studied for a long time. Um, this class, this class uh, uh, have been very dynamic and uh, with the exact uh, content that I need to learn to fill uh, the holes I still have. Uh, I, like, I like a lot the path um, of, of speaking only in English because I have learned many new words uh, thanks to you and thanks to my, uh, my classmates. Um, I remember this class uh, uh, with uh, care, careful uh, because I learned a lot, uh, really, really teacher. I, I learned a lot. <laughs> very good. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that, uh, I mean, this is just is something that is very important. Sometimes when you're learning, you don't learn only for the teacher. I mean, the teacher is the guy but everybody share things and we everybody can uh, offer things to everybody. It's like in life, right? Mm -hmm. You are yeah. going beside other people and maybe you have experience or knowledge, but other people can teach you as well. So that is, is very mm -hmm. important. And I believe that in your cases, you have a specialized uh, part of your job. Maybe one recommendation for me is for you to specialize that in English as well. If you are able, because uh, I mean, technical English like accounting uh, mm -hmm. is, is um, not that common. If you get to know and manage that one and you can sell that uh, in another position or something like that, you are going to have the job that you want. I mean, yeah. that's going to be very good for you. 
uh, not only to speak English in a normal way, but also to specialize in that technical area that you are working. So that would be very good for you. Okay, another person wanted to share, Marilyn, right? Okay, teacher. I study English because I like to listen to music and I was, I like to watch a movie. Um, and I, I walk in the future if I will work in a call center. And I think it's very important I work in my life. Um, I sometimes um, I teach uh, to learn my song. Oh, I think my child, he, he learns English. <laughs> and in the future, he could learn English um, and be able to English um, with other person on the other nationality. And I will travel the other country teacher. Is my voice. Is, thank you for you, class teacher. It's very important, and I understand your class and the topic. Thank you, teacher. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you uh, for sharing. And yeah, it's important. I mean, to have plans to to go and check what you're gonna do. English is a very good tool for you to meet other people from other countries and other cultures mm -hmm. and. Uh, of course, if you are speaking with other people, I mean, probably you are going to have the chance to go yeah. um, okay. somewhere. Uh, anybody else would like to share? Anybody? It's missing. I don't know. Okay. If nobody else is, uh, for first of all, as I was telling you before, it was a pleasure to be here with you. This it was a month and. <laughs> time flies and you remember the first class was i believe that whenever you start it's like i don't know what's gonna be right who's gonna be the teacher who's gonna be the everybody <laughs> but at the end yeah. at the end uh, and the last class is like oh it was it was good we learned a little bit more and that's it um my advice for you is uh, to enjoy english i mean you are here in the intermediate level and uh, it's not been easy. A lot of people, a lot of people, they start English classes, but not everybody goes where you are right now. A lot of people, they don't come to class anymore. Uh, they don't study, they don't do the homeworks, things like that. And the first step is to continue, right? That is uh, what you need to do. And the second thing is you need to enjoy English. That means that you can adapt English to things that you really like. If you really like to read, you can read it in English. Uh, if you like movies, you can watch movies only in English. At first, you are not going to understand. That is for sure. There are going to be things that you're going to say, what the hell he said. But eventually, eventually, I mean, you are going to be able to 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 understand and also to speak. Because when you are listening to natural language, that records in your brain and you will be able to use it later on, okay? So if you like anything that you would like to do, try to adapt that, uh, the English that you have already and try to continue. As I was telling you before, also it's important not only to come to class, but to do other activities in English. Because when you get to the advanced level, topics sometimes are kind of complicated, complicated because there are specific things that if you don't do that exactly, it's not going to be correct. And um, some topics, the teacher is going to teach that in one class and that's it. You need to remember that every time that you use it. So that's why you need to practice, okay? Uh, that is probably the best advice that I can tell you. English is very good. It's going to open lots of doors. I mean, some of you, you already have gone through those doors and 
probably you are going to find lots of things. Uh, Margarita wants to share something, she says. Go ahead. Yes, that's um, something I got from a friend. It's um, a, a good thing to, to keep thinking that it says, many people, especially ignorant people, want to punish you for speaking the truth being correct for being you. Never apologize for being correct or for being years ahead of your time. If you're right and you know it, speak your mind. Even if you're minority, one of the truth is in the truth. This from Gand Gandhi. Okay, Mahatma Gandhi. That is a good, good thing for sharing. And uh, well, by now we have finished the classes, but of course you are going to continue. If you need anything in the future, even if I'm not your teacher, you can type me and of course I'm going to help you, okay? If you want anything but money, okay? Uh, I will be here for you. Uh, so my friends, it was a pleasure. I hope you have a very good night, a very nice vacation. Be careful with the coronavirus and uh, see you around. If I see you on the streets, I'm going to greet you in English, never in Spanish. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Advice. The movie is in English, teacher. Yeah, mm -hmm. everything in English if possible. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> we don't sing. What happened? Yeah, it's true. We didn't have the time for that one. <laughs> Probably next time. <laughs> in next class. Yeah. Well, we were going to <laughs> okay, my friends, it was a pleasure. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Good night. Good friends. Have a good night. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.